Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Matt Rickard, and welcome to another LEGO mod creation. Um, so, I'm going to make this quick. This video is going to be rather short. It's going to require probably little to no editing because my camera battery is kind of low and I don't have time to charge it. And I had this thing already built and I didn't really want to take three hours to charge it because I wouldn't have time to make the video. So we're going to make this as quick as possible. Um, so yeah, this is another LEGO mock spaceship. Um, yes, I know, it's been a while. I explained that yesterday in the video yesterday. Yeah, I get it. Bash me whenever you want. I don't care, but it's here. Um, as you can see, this thing is quite massive. It can't even fit in the whole screen if I were to put it from the edge of the screen. That's not even half of it. You still have all of that. So yeah, it's quite long. Not sure why I chose this design. Just kind of did. So yeah, um, let's just jump right into the details, which there aren't that much of. As you already know, very sturdy uh, four or five layer base of... Um, just flat pieces then towards the front you see we got these uh, little smooth pieces smooth six by ones or one by sixes or whatever you want to call them yeah these were kind of a last minute provision because I realized after that I had I realized after I put those in let me get these off to show you what I mean there was why are you not coming off now okay so after I put you know I didn't, I finished everything, and then I looked down, and I saw that there was still that giant, uh, 2 by 8 there was still that giant 2 by 8 right there just sticking out, so I kind of had to do something to cover that up, and that's what these are for, so I just kind of put those in, it made it look slightly better, I mean, oh crap, oops, excuse me, that, but yeah, it's slightly better, slightly worse, I don't know, either way, it's there, um, this section I'm going to save to last because this is the main spaceship part of it. Um, I've done something that I usually really have never done before, and that is make more of a, like a hallway, per se, in the ship. And it puts a lot of detail, per se, into it. Um, you can open this little hatch back here, and I'll show you that in a sec. But um, you can take these pieces off, and I'm going to just move those out of the way so I can show you what I mean by hallway so as you can see it's already starting to shape up and there are some windows right there and over on that side and I'll show you that in a sec as well you gotta be careful with this though because it's kinda like all connected just with this 4x4 four four right here and so it's just 2x4, two 2x4 four, two four, and then 4x6 so it's all connected and it's kinda you know hard to keep intact. Anyway uh, so you got this hallway here, let me bring it up. You got this hallway here, long hallway leading from the uh, cockpit out there um, to the engines and such which I'll show in a sec. Uh, you got these two little uh, kinda racks here, one's holding binoculars and one's not holding anything because there was nothing you know that I had to hold. Um, you got these two windows right here and here right there you go further back, you can see that we have two more windows right there, and one fell off right here. Yeah, I just wanted to add as much detail as into this as possible because, you know, this is kind of like a welcome back video, even though I've had like seven of those. Yeah, sorry, I can't keep a really good schedule, per se. Anywho, yeah, so that's how that worked. Um, I'll leave that, I'll leave this stuff off for now. Um... Towards the back again, you know, you just saw the, that little hatch. I'll put all that back on and I'll I'll edit that in, alright? I'll edit that in. You got these little lights here, though. You got these two little lights. Uh, they turn on. Let me turn these off. Or oh, actually, hang on. I'll turn that on. That's what these pieces come in handy for. If you saw those earlier, you saw these two pieces. And you could basically attach them there. And you could attach them right... Ugh. It's been such a while since I made a video. I feel like such a clutch. Anyway. Come on, attach, all right, right there, and then you can see we got this uh, little light right there and there. Can't really see it, but they're there. They are there, and it provides us, like, a little light for the hallway if it's dark or whatever. So, I kind of wanted to add that little detail, and obviously we have the same engines from before. I'm not quite sure what these beams are. Maybe they're, like, an attachment point. I don't know, but they're there, so that's cool. Um, So, yeah, that's just the gist of the entire thing, uh, the up... Uh, the under part of it, that's it. There's nothing special to it. Um, let's go to the cockpit right there. Um, as you can see in the cockpit, it's just standard. I made a custom seat, however, with those two slanted pieces right there and there. And then that slanted piece right there. You got a little lever, you got the little control panel, and you got a little button right there. And then everything just falls into place. So let me just make a uh, few quick adjustments. And 
we should be on our way. Back from the jump cut. Just kidding. No, I am actually. But uh, like I said, this little hallway back here, you know, I'll give you a side view. There's the two windows there, and then there's that little window right there. And then once you go towards the back, let's see if I can get a good view of this. It does indeed open up. You can flip it up like that. And now there's no way I'm going to be able to show it in there. I might be able to, like, no, nah, I'm not going to be able to show that. But you saw the inside. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to show that. You can kind of see in there a little bit better than, you know, the first attempt. But yeah, opens and closes like that. I feel like since I watched Interstellar, it kind of got modeled off of it a little bit. Just that little back hatch right there. Except for the fact that it opens up like that. And, you know, Interstellar 1. If you guys have seen Interstellar, the back hatch to the first spaceship kind of opened like that counterclockwise. And it kind of like slowly opened like one of those really futuristic ships. Well, no, duh, because it is a futuristic ship. Anyway, that's how that worked. Um... Yeah, that's just about it. I know it was a quick video. I'm sorry. I apologize. But if you like this video, please like it. Comment down below what you want me to build next. Share this video with your friends, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.